Brett Waltemath of Starwatch Media outside of Grauman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood, California for the red carpet Blu-ray premiere of the film classic, West Side Story. Brett with Starwatch Media, it's a pleasure to speak with you this, this evening. We're here for the red carpet for and the premiere of West Side Story and also the Blu-ray release of West Side Story. How's it feel to be, oh, just first of all, be here this evening for a rescreening 50 years later? It's, it's incredible to be here. It's so terrific. It's so wonderful. So great to be here with Rita and Russ. And I came with Morgan Fairchild. I mean, what? Who could ask for anything more? <laughs> and um, uh, it, it's 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 fantastic because we had such an amazing time uh, working on this movie. We really loved what we were doing. We all had a great time together with Robert Wise and Jerome Robbins, and, and uh, it was just a really it was a just a fantastic experience uh, uh, working on this piece. Uh, we just loved. Like, uh, we cared deeply about and felt we were working on something of quality. You know, it was a beautiful feeling. We just and that that set or us was uh, just firecrackers. You know, it was and people. I guess the word got out around town, so people would come from you know other stars and would just come to watch rehearsal because they heard about. I guess they heard about these these kids working on this movie, but it was uh, 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 that. It was a fantastic experience, and that I think, you know, uh, translates to to the film. And people, I think, people feel that when they watch the movie. And um, and again, just it's a, such a beautiful piece. West Side Story is a really beautiful piece, I think. What was the most memorable part of the experience for you on set? Working for Jerry Robbins, Jerome Robbins. He was Jerry was a. a uh, a wild and beautiful uh, perfectionist for himself first, and we all felt that. It was, he never said that, and he never, it wasn't articulated, but whenever he walked into a day for rehearsal, we would do a warm-up and so on, and wait for him to come in. And when he walked in, uh, it was like there was electricity in the air. He didn't say anything, he just came in very quietly, And uh, but you just felt you had to rise to his level of expectation. So the, the the most beautiful thing for me, or one of the most beautiful things, was just working with and for him. He was fantastic. For you as an actor, was it, do you prefer to have a lot of direction and have a director that really um, knows every, every specific aspect of what he wants to do, or do you prefer to have a little bit more freedom to act? It's nice to have freedom, but it's great to have a director who is aware of all of the things you just asked me. Um, one of the things that was so beautiful about Jerry was, again, it wasn't articulate. He didn't. He, sometimes he would ask you a question to make you think and bring something to the process yourself instead of being told. So it's a combination of both. I think it's, it's wonderful to uh, have freedom and at the same time it's great to be working with a director who has a vision and knows what he wants that piece to look like. So it's really a collaboration. That's the ideal circumstance, I think. Yeah. And, and that really came through on West Side Story? Yeah, well, I think it did because I, 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 Jerry was, uh, I, I loved working with and for him so much. And also, uh, I think, you know, I did the London company. I played Rip in London uh, before the film. That was and you're on the, on the opposite side of the gang. <laughs> in the other. Worst enemy, right? Uh, but uh, so uh, working for Jerry and, and rising to, to his level uh, or trying to rise to his level was, uh, was uh, what we all wanted to do and tried to do. How was that transition for you, moving from the play to the film, and also uh, a character switch as well? Well, uh, it was. Uh, it was. A, I loved uh, the transition. It was. I, I loved. I love working in the theater, but uh, in in this piece, I, hey, I, I was. It was like I was continuing to do West Side, you know. So a, a piece that I, I had done it for a year and a half in London, so I was, you know, really familiar with with all the parts. Uh, so. Uh, Okay. And we rehearsed everything, everything, every scene, every dance number, every dance sequence, every musical sequence, before we ever started a day of filming. So it was like, it was very much like rehearsing for a play, for the theater, except it was for film. But uh, so it, it felt, in, in a way it kind of felt the same. And maybe it was, it, uh, it was still Jerry. Uh, 
Yeah. Very, very fluid transition, though, for you. Yes, I, thank you. It was a fluid transition. It was very fluid. Thank you for that, that word. I appreciate it. <laughs> no, I got lucky. Yeah, I, and I got lucky, too, being able to use it. Yeah. A collaborative effort. You know, you, you need yeah. it sometimes. Thank you. That's important. Yeah. Now, you also have a new jewelry line that's, curr that's currently out. Can you please discuss that with us, your collection? Well, you know, I started this as a hobby like 10 years ago. Yeah, and um, I didn't think I was going to try to do anything, it just, but it took over, and I really loved doing it, and I just ended up with, accidentally, with a what they call a collection, because I had about 25 or 30 pieces that I'd made, and uh, I, I, uh, a Japanese distributor uh, saw my stuff and uh, loved it, and bought some things and then and, and he's uh, distributing it uh in tokyo the fantastic department store there called uh, mitsukoshi it, we've been selling there for about two years and now i'd like to you know, i won't hold my breath but it'd be nice to try to do something here so i'm, I'm talking right now well not right now but um, uh, to marketing people here because I'm a lousy business person and I need help. So, uh, but anyway, thank you for the question because I, I really love uh, I love doing it so much. I've always enjoyed making things, and so we'll see what happens here and, and maybe other places in the world as well. And any new endeavor is always exciting as well. Oh, well, yeah, you know, uh, I have a Cheetah Rivera. I mean, I don't, but she was the original Anita, and I did West Side Story with her in London. She's a great friend. I love her. I love. I love. Both of the Anitas, they're amazing. But Cheetah once said to me, not too long ago, she said, George, you're so lucky that you have something else that you love to do. And I thought, boy, she's right. Because, uh, uh, and I think most, uh, most uh, creative people always have something else that they love to do because you, if you if you sit around and wait for somebody to call you for a job you know you, you can wait a long time <laughs> so it's it, it is wonderful to have your your own your own thing as well and you always hear that any business endeavor should always start with passion it should start out with something that you are truly passionate about which uh, uh 10 years ago you started this and you haven't stopped so it, it goes to show that it's something that you truly are passionate about yeah absolutely uh, um and I, I i still my favorite thing now is uh, always has been thinking of a new piece of, you know sort of seeing something and making sketches or working with clay and so I, but uh, making I, there are new things I want to make and I haven't made yet I can't wait to do it so it's 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 exciting and for those that would like to check out your collection where can they go oh, well right now it's my website which is uh, www forget the w's I think it's just George Shakira's one word dot com. Thank you for asking that. Thank you. No, thank you for the time, Mr. Shakir. And congratulations. Very well deserved on this morning, this evening. I hope you've enjoyed the entire day. And best of luck with your collection and in the future on all your endeavors. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I want to say you're a wonderful, you, you're, you ask wonderful questions. Thank you. It's, it's my pleasure, sir. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you. Enjoy the screening. Okay, thank you, sir.